This new Grover skin is a bit goofy. Ooh, also Ice Mines, nice. Uh, yeah, let me see, where is it? Uh, skin Change boost. It makes bada bing, bada boom, we gotta play with the skin early, and I think I'll use the blue version of the skin. I like this version a bit better, because if we look at the red version, the eyes just look weird, because they're missing, like, the pupils, right? Whereas this one, the eyes look a little bit better to me. But look at the forehead. It just twitches. Why? Huh? <laughs> Why does the skin do this? Why? This makes no sense. It's very goofy. Overall, I do Aha! generally like the skin. Bro Star nine nine nine. It's just a bit weird that it does that. It like in light distracts of the so much. I'm Bro's got a lot on his mind. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, his head is filled with knowledge and it's bursting. He can't contain it. Ah. But yeah, we'll get a uh, a nice look at the uh, the voice lines and the visual effects and all that wonderful stuff here another as well. Another day, another expedition. I wonder all the discoveries I'll make this time. The voice is a bit deeper than I thought, honestly. I guess this is the deep voice to dragon skin. And we will do, of course, some rampant blooming action here that with the range sucks. build, fatalis, damage reduction, all that wonderful stuff. So here's a weapon inspect. Looking very interesting. Again with the modeling. It looks good, but it strikes me as more of an old paladin skin in the sense that it's not as sharp as some actions. of the more recent skins, like the boss fight skin, for example. But, uh... It also sounds like when you throw it. It sounds like he's doing a blossom every time he does that. It's very goofy. We'll do some voice lines as well. Five, four, three, two, one. One, go forth, my harbinger, and bring about their end. They're kind of quiet, but uh, you can hear them. An and uh, yeah, I do like uh, the little backpack he has too, although the wings are really here. tiny. I don't get what's up with paladins and giving dragons like insanely tiny wings. It's very silly in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I'm glad Grover's getting another skin because it has been a very long time. It is kind of hard to make Grover skins, because, you know, very unorthodox. He's a tree. And I think, considering what they had to work with, it's a pretty solid skin. They gotta fix that twitching, though, for sure. I don't know if it plays with the emote. I guess we'll check the next time we're in spawn. We'll do an emote, and we'll see. But, yeah. They had some rigging issues on the PTS as well. Like, the skin... <laughs> I'm gonna turn this uh, this uh, match into a video on YouTube, so I'll put a, a picture of it on YouTube. But uh, ooh. <laughs> it was uh, haunting. Like, it was really bad. So I, I guess this has just been a hard one to make for them because they had to like do some extra like animation work and stuff like that, and they couldn't get it quite right. That's my guess, anyways. Ooh, cripple him out of the sky. Let's go. We are marching this through right now. I'm not even focusing on the match. If only the last few matches could have been like this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that axe throwing is kind of weird. Like that sound effect? It sounds like a blossom. Am I crazy for thinking that? It looks nice, though. Yeah, I feel like the sound is a bit weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, poor Koga. I was just going to try and get out of there, because I assumed he was going to go for the tanks and might accidentally hit me. I didn't want that to happen. Let me pop back here. Didn't miss that. That's fine. I have an ult, so I'm just going to be coming here. Let's do this. Boom. We're good. And then mine back here. That drove is really low. I got Tiberius on me. Oh, I'm finally dead. All right. Get more Kronos. Uh... It's a bit too late to buy Horde, but I probably should have bought it, because I need morale boost and Master Riding as well. I also like the beads he has, like, around his hands. It's a it's a very richly decorated skin, and I do appreciate that. Maybe, probably the better of the two event pass skins this time around. Minus the glitch, obviously. But that's entirely subjective. I can definitely see liking the Omen skin more. And I do like Omen's weapon, because... It feels more like a shotgun than Omen's default weapon, and that's nice. 
Ah. And you know, one thing I also can really appreciate about this event pass, and the skins this update in general, they're not edgy. <laughs> None of them are edgy. I mean, the closest we got is like, you know, sort of devilish horns on Omen, but that's because he's a dragon, so like, you know, it makes sense. And he's not edgy at all. His voice pack is like, reminiscent of Sonic. <laughs> like... And I like that, because it feels like we've gotten so many edgy skins recently. It's just nice to get a change of pace. But he's low. Come here. Yeah, yeah, counter. Die. Is the Strix skin that bad? Personally, I like it. No, I, I really like the Strix skin. I was saying uh, this was the best skin of the event pass. Uh, but the Strix skin isn't in the event pass. That's my favorite skin of the update, is the Strix skin. Because it's just so silly. But of the two event pass skins, I think I like this one more. At least this version of the skin. I still am not a huge fan of the recolor, specifically because of the eyes. Capture point yeah, it looks like the uh, forehead is not twitching in the emote. So it looks like it's literally just a um, a default champion pose issue or something like nah. that. Uh, Five, I guess my teammates can tell me sure. if my Five. forehead is twitching when I'm just standing there. Because sure. I can't see that, obviously. It's not twitching on the mount either, so yeah. I mean, it's definitely a bug. And I guess when you're actually in the game, it doesn't affect you in the slightest. It, it looks fine there. They should get that fixed soon, hopefully. I hope. Oop, careful turn. He does have ult, so yeah, he's just gonna do that. Uh-oh, Drogo's ult coming out. He does get Ash Corp, though. Boom, gotcha. Nice. And it looks like we are just cruising right now. Uh, I don't have a Blossom for you quite yet. Oh, stay alive. Alright, good. You're fine. I guess I'll push up a little bit, since I do need to be close to them to heal. Yeah, just spam, and there we go, we cap. Wonderful. Oh, wow, I took a lot of damage there. Let's just blossom that. Hello! Okay, I'm gonna ult, because I need to keep Koga alive. Let me pop back here, give you a blossom. Perfect. Uh-oh. Mm, that stunned me. Keep the siphon on Koga. Alright, he's fine. Let me get Cripple Reset on you. There's another Vine. There's another Blossom. Huge heals from Grover over here. Got that shield in the way. I can't reset off that. I don't know why I threw it up there. My brain's itchy. She also might be running Duration Guard. Is she running Duration? Cool down. Cool down. Oh, no, she's not. That's just a really long shield. Okay. She's going all in on making sure she has the biggest shield possible. Oh, good for her. Oh, cool down. No. Counter's a bit too late, my friends. And Cassie's gonna finish you. Thank you for that. Let's get out of here. Woo! Alright. Ooh, got that cripple reset. Find you. Hopefully Koga makes it out there. Let's get reset. He's fine. Good. I'll push the payload a little bit here. It is risky, but Tiberius isn't really shooting at me. Oh, poor Barrick. Oh, I just fed that. Crap. Yeah, just kill me. Just kill me. <laughs> Omen Skin's weapon reminds me of the super shotgun from Doom. Yeah, it's a very nice shotgun. The major concern I've seen people bring up this patch is that the skins are a bit lower quality than some of the others. In terms of, like, some parts of them seem play doh right? Like, I saw one comment on my video today talking about how the weapon is, like, super play doh And to an extent I agree, but to an extent... I guess it is kind of a problem when you're comparing it to the quality standard of the skins from, like, the past few years. But also, like... There are far worse skins in this game if we're talking about quality, and I still think they're pretty nice. Although, if we see the trend slipping to where the skins are getting even more play doh then I think we have an issue. Woo! Live! 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 Yes, we're all alive. Cripple. There we go, no TP. We might be able to push this through here. We got a lot of momentum right now. We can take out that Zin or that Tiberius. We sat. Although, wow, they just wiped us from behind. I had no idea Drogo was back there. Expert flank from him. That's gonna stop our push. It's tracks. 
this yeah. time. Thanks for dead. Rip. Which would you say is the worst skin ever? For me, unequivocally, if we're not talking like, you know, just the basic recolors and crap like that, it has to be Genie Yin. It looks horrible. The texture quality is really low. It looks like Play-Doh. And I just, it's terrible. Which is sad. Because it should be a really good concept for a skin. It makes a lot of sense for Ying. And were they to update it in 2024, they would do a fantastic job knocking it out of the park. But as it stands, the quality is just so bad. I mean, just look at the necklace. That's all you really need to see. It's Five, terrible. Four, three, <laughs> My team is saying, two, yeah, it's not bugging. One. Okay, good. Let's head out. Ultimate is ready I agree 1,000%, but everyone I know disagrees. Yeah, some people disagree because they like the skin concept. And yeah, I'm with you. I like the skin concept. That's why I'm actually sad it's executed so poorly. The execution is, like, terrible. And I don't think how you, I don't understand how you could say any different. But if you are going to look for a skin that has the lowest quality in the game, it is going to be from, like, the 2016 era, which that skin is from. Because, yeah, it was a different time. The, the skin quality wasn't, you know, set to the standards that they are now. In terms of literally objective texture model quality, right? Some of those skins from the time are more fun. Like, a lot of the best skins in the game aren't necessarily some of the highest quality skins. But yeah, for those objective quality standards, yeah, older skins were worse. Part of that was also due to parts and pieces. That's another huge reason why the quality standard was so much worse back then. Because back in the day, there used to be a system where you could take one part of a skin and put it on another skin. For example, you could take the head of one skin, put it on the body of another. You could take the uh, the cuddly eyes from the plushy Makoa skin and put it on the volcanic skin if you wanted to. It was really cool, but it was inhibiting them from releasing higher quality skins with better textures, models, etc. Because you run into technical issues, clipping and stuff like that. And you can notice immediately a bump in the quality of the skins as soon as they cancel them. The first skin that came out when Parts and Pieces was axed was Soul Eater Generous. As well as the, uh, the Zin skin and, uh... There's one other skin from the time period. My brain's itchy. I forget the, the skin off the top of my head. But you can see an immediate jump in the quality. So, yeah. Come here. Take this. Turn. I'm gonna have to ask you to live lightly, sir, please. Uh -oh. I might be dead. I'm dead. Right. <sighs> Parts and Pieces was awesome. It was a really cool system. Some of the things you could do were amazing. Uh, but also I do... Uh, understand why they wanted to uh you know cut it out for the sake of making higher quality skins but uh yeah i don't know i mean there there are benefits and downsides to both systems and some of the skins and parts and pieces were good even by today's standards like rave maze is a top-notch skin texture quality might not be the highest on that skin but you've got animated textures amazing music the whole nine yards it's awesome so they could have still made it work but at the same time, some of the skins that we got after that are amazing. Case in point, Soul Eater Genos. So... It is what it is. We can't exactly go back now. That's just not a possibility. Oh boy. Alright, you're getting ulted, you dots. You're getting ulted. Get a blossom to you. Let me... Vine, get that reset. Ooh, alright, I'm dead. No healer here, we're probably not going to push this. Yeah, alright. We don't have this. They did use an ult to defend that, though. So that's really good for us going into this final cap. You know what skin I dislike? Dark Lord Torf. It looks so bad. That is true. I'm not a huge fan of the Star Wars knockoff skins. Just, uh, <laughs> they're very corny. And very blatantly ripoffs. Sure. The, the only saving grace of Dark Lord Torvald, besides, you know, the gauntlet and the projectiles looking pretty cool, um, no. is just how silly the voice pack is. 
evils guide you. Do my bidding. <laughs> That's just silly. But yeah, I, I agree. It's a pretty dookie skin. <laughs> Five, four, three, Zen skin is cool. Two, Come on. One. I'm not a fan of even Star Zen. Partly because I'm not a fan of Kylo Ren. Which uh, has less to do with Kylo Ren and more to do with just the entire 7, 8, and 9 being absolute hot garbage. Um, like, I'd rather just use Kazu's in, to be honest. They're both kind of similar styles, right? That sort of futuristic red theme skin. Honestly. That's just me. I'm like, what other skins are there? I guess there's the Mando Strix skin. Uh, that one's okay, honestly. And then there's also the uh, Cassie Ray skin, which, uh, because I am a moral and righteous person, I am obligated to hate that skin because Ray is one of the worst characters in Star Wars. Um, so, yeah. But uh, the weapon's pretty cool, I guess, so, you know. I guess I can give points for that. Also, dang, we lose on the final cap. That's so sad. Ah! Yeah. It's crazy how many skins we do have at the end of the day, though. Like, we're getting fewer skins nowadays than we did in patches past, but there are already just so many. And, yeah, it's kind of crazy if you really just sit back and think about it. Anyways, there's the Grover skin for you. Miraculously, I got more kills than Cassie and Barrack, And more damage than everyone on the team except Koga. While also getting 203,000 healing. Man, Grover is so powerful. <laughs> Still probably the best healer in the game, if you ask me. Or best support in the game, rather. But sadly, they ended up having just a bit more damage and kills than us in the end. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna end up losing that game there. That's the Grover skin, though. And we're back on the main menu. It must be something with the lobby version of the skin, because in-game it's fine, but then we go into the lobby, and we're doing a unique pose here, we're doing the MVP pose, and his forehead's back to twitching. What the heck? <laughs> Why? Ah, alright. Well, um, yeah, regardless, let me know what you think of the skin, I guess. And, uh, also, since we're doing, um, uh, just shameless self-promotion here, if you want to buy the skin then you should totally go over here to nexus.gg slash andrewchicken and just buy some crystals. And then you do it here, you support me in the process. So, good idea, right? Aha! Yeah. <laughs> Roast